Welcome to the final episodes of making the sexual function more enhanced and I'm leaving the best till the last or the most interesting one till the last talking about the benefit or no benefit of tiger penis. How did that come about that something as strange as the tiger penis or the tiger bones will be actually enhancing the actual sexual functions and actually helping with libido? In fact, there is no documentation dating back to 5,000 years of utilizing this animal. Presumably, it is all because of the strength uh, that the tiger represents and therefore anything to do with tigers is presumed to be beneficial. And believe it or not, not, it can range from the viscous of the tiger being used for toothache and the poo being used in order to cure things like piles. But the two most important things that actually has been used sadly in tiger penis and also the bones as the way of aphrodisiac increasing the actual libido and also curing impotency or erectile dysfunction. There are numerous studies that actually scrutinize the scientific uh, reality to show that tiger penis itself brings absolute no benefit at all. I repeat, absolute no benefit at all. In fact, it is sad that tiger has actually been declared near extinct since 1986. And this such practice is still being used in Southeast Asia and in China. In the traditional Chinese medicine, not that I don't believe it, actually focuses on qi. The qi comes from five organs, the lungs, the heart, the actual spleen, and also the uh, liver, and then all these organs are supposed to bring up that energy level. However, when the actual chi is down, it actually just means that you need to exercise more, keep yourself healthy, rest more, and also eat healthily. There are lots of studies that actually shows that the so-called traditional Chinese medicine actually has been adulterated with things like the blue pills. So therefore, if you think that it is something that's natural, it's supposed to be safe and cheap, actually it's not. In fact, it turned out to be a well-recognized type of molecule such as sildenafil that actually helps you with circulation. The good news is that the University of New South Wales and University of Hong Kong has done a lot of research to show that people are shifting away from all these old-fashioned thinking which has no scientific basis. In fact, they studied 256 men analyzing their attitude towards treatment of erectile dysfunction and increasingly more and more men actually are focusing more on scientific basis of treatment rather than found uh, rather than treatment which has no foundation at all. Next week, I'm going to focus on shockwave therapy and I'm going to scrutinize the scientific basis of shockwave therapy in the treatment of erectile dysfunction. Stay tuned for next week's Putting Dr. G on the Spot.